Uh-oh. Why are you so excited? <laughs> You're always We're excited. excited because it's National Pasta Day. Well, now hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Now, what nationality am I? Italian. I'm Italian. So okay. this, today is National Pasta Day, right? Yeah. Right. But also, it is my anniversary of nine years. Oh. So being an Italian, what do I do? I mean, I'm Get very married confused. married on National Pasta Day. Well, I mean, this right here is like my love and my passion, but then I've got Ooh. her that's my love and my I'm torn, guys. What are you doing here? I don't know, bro. I mean, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it all out because it, Oh, look Woo. at this. We got uh, magic. <laughs> we're waiting for that water to boil, and right. it did, right on cue. So I'm going to catch you up. Me and Mickey were having a discussion earlier. He grabbed my pasta. and um, This is organic pasta. This is organic pasta from Italy, and it is like whiter than more yellow. Why is that, Claire? Do you know why? Um, because it's not processed. It's organic. Number one, it's not processed, but all the stuff that's more yellow is has been heat dried. Ooh, okay. So heat dries means we're in America and we're making process. We're making it fast okay. and we're making money. So process. this is a lighter in Italy, you, you, you air dry it in cold, oh. you cold dry it, so it dries naturally. Hmm. So they want to know why in Italy they can eat all this pasta and not get, mm. Mm -hmm. well, I'm sort of, but I'm still, <laughs> yeah. I don't lie. I don't walk as much as they do. But yeah, they walk the, a lot. The, the, the breakdown of the gluten here when you air dry it slower and cook it al dente, it digests better in your stomach to where you can process it instead of going, well, we need to send this right over here to fat. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. gotcha. Hey, you learn something new every day. Well, we're trying, I mean, that's what we're here for, right? Oh, we're right. at a cooking Education. segment. Okay, yep. so now, we're gonna get into our dish. What are we cooking today? Pasta. Cacio e pepe. Yeah, it's easy for you Cacio to do e pepe. Cacio e pepe. That Cacio means pepe. cheese and pepper. Love it. It's very famous in Rome, which mm -hmm. is lots of region of Rome. I've eaten it a thousand times over there, and it's one of those dishes that are is so simple that you can screw it up, okay? Yeah. Okay. Because we take the pasta. Pr pr first, we have pre-cooked our pasta, but we're going to show you. You don't need a lot of water with this, okay? Oh, okay. So we're going to put our noodles in because what we're looking for, we're looking to steal the starch water out of this to make it happen. Okay. Oh, you know, that's, uh, that's a lot... Uh, of things that I, I think as Americans, we don't use the starch uh, in the water, uh, even when we make our pasta sauce. And you, you right. said before that, that that's a very important ingredient. Extremely important ingredient because- Why could, so? Well, I mean, you know, you can use cornstarch, which they sell it in a box. Mm -hmm. You can tell us by xanthan gum that they sell in a box. So why don't we use something natural because we're creating starch right, right, right here. All you got to do is cook it down. So earlier today, while Claire and Mick were doing their deal, I was back here cooking a little pasta, and I reduced the water. And if you can see from a, if you go back up, I'll show it to you. See how cloudy that water is? Mm -hmm. That's the starchy water that I got from this, okay? So okay. now it's processing now. It's not clear, okay? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and grab some peppercorns, okay? And we're going to take these peppercorns and I'm going to put it in this dry skillet right here. Why am I doing this, Mickey? Uh, I don't know. Because we're going to aerate this pepper with heat? heat. And we're going to make it aerate to where you can smell the pepper. Give it a few huh. seconds. Roll it around. Mm -hmm. And just so our viewers aren't confused, this is not this, is it? No. it's not, Well, it's pasta, yeah. It's okay. pasta, yeah. It's pasta. Okay. Now. This is bucatini. bucatini. All right, what is bucatini? Bucatini okay. is a pasta. That's, when you make this dish, you want to use a thick pasta, okay? okay. So bucatini's got a hole in the center of it. Ah. So the sauce can go up inside the hole, Ooh, okay? Fancy. Bingo. So now I've aerated this, this pepper. Mm -hmm. I smell it. Smell it. Everybody can smell it. Okay. We don't want to get it too hot. Yeah, I do smell that. All right, so now we're going to take, even though we're cooking pasta in here, we're act like our pasta is done. We're going to take our pasta water. We're going to put it in the skillet here, okay? That's a hot skillet. Now, what does the skillet, what, what does it do now, since we're putting the skillet, Mickey? Bubbles. It's reducing even more, okay? Because we're trying to get to the starch is what we're trying to get to. Okay. Okay. You're not going to blow up or anything because it's uh, just water. Back up, I mean. No. It's just water, it's just water. Vigorously boiling water. Now, we're going to pour our pasta in here. That's a little bit of drama. It is drama, but you know. <laughs> I love it. You're, you're dealing with a You don't want kids. Uh, no, you don't want kids hanging out with you. Yeah. Now All right, gonna so now it. we're going to take the pepper and put the pepper on here. Mm-hmm. Got it off the heat right now. Got it off the heat. Everything is okay. We're going to turn all our eyes off. Mm-hmm. 
Because now we're going to sprinkle this with pep, with, what, with Pecorino Romano cheese. Does anybody know what Pecorino Romano cheese is? That's that cheese you got in that uh, dish right there. That's right, exactly. So Pecorino. <laughs> and it's got spicy stuff in it. Pecorino is a goat's cheese. It's made in the Romano region of Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when we take it and we get it with this pasta water, so what does that look like, guys? Tell me what this is nice looking like. It's nice and creamy looking. Right. Oh, We're looking like, like an Alfredo, cheese. right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now we'll come back over to this eye. Look at you. Hey, baby, yeah. it's all good. It's all good in the hood. So now we're putting it back on we'll the We'll put it back on the hood. We're going to reduce a little bit more. Or I tell you what, walk over there and give me that cheese, Mickey. Okay. Oh, my goodness. A little bit more we cheese. we got about 45 seconds left. All right, Mickey, you got 45 seconds left. All right. <laughs> Add a little bit more cheese. Never not enough cheese, okay? Okay, that's a good tip. I'm all I can't believe it's been so five minutes So you're just soaking already. up some of that water. Well, we're just going to make it more creamier when yeah. it melts down into the water. Okay. And uh, this is a very popular dish in Italy, right? Extremely. I mean, this is like... There's two dishes that go side to side. Cacio e pepe and carbonara, okay? Uh. Mm -hmm. And if we want to turn this into a carbonara, all we got to do is add some yeah, egg yolks to it, not curdle it, and you're going to rock, okay? So let's go. All right. Here. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. We're going to plate it up. Well, you know, we're going to throw it up, but I don't know throw if we're going to plate it up. And we're going to get ready for the news. Bernard, you have a wonderful Thank you.